Number 81. For each of the following reaction diagrams, estimate the activation energy, which is Ea, for the reaction. Okay, we have our graph right here, and we just have to estimate the activation energy. All right. So just know that how we read these energy diagrams, right, or reaction diagrams, always the left side is the reactant side. So this is the amount of energy that the reactants have, about 10 kilojoules. And the right side, where it kind of teeters off to a straight line, is the products. Okay. Now, the activation energy is the energy that you need to over, you know, go over the hump or the peak. It's the predetermined amount of energy needed to actually get to your products. And the activation energy is always from the reactants to the transition state. So it's wherever your reactants are all the way to your transition state. Now the transition state is the peak. So generally speaking, it's going to be the highest peak. For your activation energy, it's gonna be the highest peak, but if you want to find out different activation energies, um, you can find them out you know, via the different peaks. But in this case, we only have one peak. So we'll just say that this is the peak. Now just know that an activation energy is always a positive value. So if you do get a negative value for your activation energy, it's just the absolute value of it. You're always taking the higher value, which is gonna be the peak, minus the lower number. So to find a activation energy, you can just say that it's always gonna be the, the peak minus the reactants. Now this isn't a, you know, a standard formula, but that's basically how we find it out. It's always from the reactants all the way to that tippy, tippy, tippy peak right here. So this whole, this whole line, the energy that you need is your activation energy. Ea. Okay. So the highest point is the peak, right? And if I go back, whoop, what happened there? And if I go back, the peak is roughly about 35, right? 35 kilojoules. The units here are in kilojoules, so I've got to keep it. 35 kilojoules. And then the reactants are 10. So all we got to do here is just do 35 minus 10, right? The higher number over the lower number. So in this case, the activation energy, the energy needed to get over that hump from where you started from, is 25. 25 kilojoules. And that is the final answer. That was pretty fun. What did you think? Let's box this off and call it a video. All right. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want to become a member, uh, check out our memberships. We got four tiers at the moment. So, you know, no obligation, not mandatory, but any, any little bit of help helps the channel, which in turn helps you out because we could put more videos out there and more cool stuff. So thank you so much for the support and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.